So you are trying to run a game or a program in Windows, a picture viewer in this case, and you get a system error. The code execution cannot proceed because mfplet DLL was not found. Reinstalling the program may fix this problem. And the same error may be for mf.dll, resampledmo.dll, and some other library files. The reason why you're having this issue is because in pursuit of debloating your Windows installation, you installed a very stripped down version of Windows. In this particular case, it's the N edition of Windows, which is an official release. There are also quite a few unofficial builds made by enthusiasts with certain features removed, and you can also remove those features yourself. The feature in question in this case is Media Feature Pack, and you can install it back using the System Optional Features function in Windows. This is how it looks in Windows 11, which is the latest and the only supported version of Windows at the time I'm making this video. So all you need to do is to tick Media Feature Pack here, then click Next, and your Windows installation will contact official Microsoft servers to download this feature. And it doesn't matter if you're having an official Windows license or you're using a pirated version, it will work regardless. It didn't work the first time in this case because my internet got disconnected, but after a second attempt, the media feature pack was installed just fine. And the picture viewer that was having this error started to launch just fine, straight away, even without a reboot. However, with media feature pack comes a very nasty annoyance in the form of Windows Media Player. Probably there are people who enjoy using Microsoft products However, I'm not one of them. And I could never understand why you want to use Paint, for example, or Windows Photos when decent and free alternatives exist. And same goes for media players. Why would you want to use Windows Media Player if other decent options for both video and audio playback exist? So even though I'm forced to use Windows in some cases, I want to have as little Microsoft products as possible. So we need to keep the um, libraries from the media feature pack. However, we need to remove Windows Media Player. To do that, you need to open the old style control panel, which is still available in Windows 11, even though they are trying to get rid of it since the days of Windows 8. There, you need to go to programs and features, and on the left, there is a section which is called Turn Windows Features On or Off. This is actually another way to install that media feature pack, however I suggest that you go through the new interface. But here, if you expand the media features section, you can see that Windows Media Player is here, and in my case there is two of them in a typical Microsoft fashion, and that is probably because I had to install the media feature pack twice and even though the first attempt failed, it still has this entry here. Anyway, untick Windows Media Player app, then confirm everything, and it will be removed from your system, so you will never see the option to open files in Windows Media Player. However, those DOLs will be still in your system, and the programs that require them will still work. I am the god of YouTube! Like! Subscribe, jingle bells.